Hey there everyone, and I know I said I wasn't going to make another video this month, but as you can see in the title, something really awesome came in the mail, so I decided I needed to make a video about it. So as you can see, this is the Chrome, this is the Google rather, the Google CR48 running Chrome OS, and it's booting up now, and I'll log in. And overall it takes maybe 15 or 20 seconds to boot up to the browser, which is really awesome because you don't have to wait on it. So once it boots up in, once it boots up into the browser, you can instantly start using it. It is already connected to the internet, which is this icon up here. Um, the battery life is eight hours, just like they say. Um, I actually managed to get a little bit more than eight hours out of it yesterday. Um, so it's really awesome to take with you places if you have an internet connection. If you don't have an internet connection, then I'm sorry to say you kind of can't really use this because it's all on the internet. So I'm just going to show you a few apps, show you how fast it goes to sleep, and then show you logging in, logging out, and that kind of stuff. So you already saw logging in, so I'll just show you logging out towards the end. But you can see I'm loading up different tabs here. All with stuff that I've worked on before or need to work on and it's staying responsive I have had it being I've had it playing music on GrooveShark I've had Twitter and Facebook open I've had Google Docs open I've had games open and it, pre it stays pretty well snappy for you and it's pretty surprising because it's only a 1.6 gigahertz Intel Atom processor However, the two gigabytes of memory that's in it definitely does help. So, um, you can see I've just been popping up these little web apps here, but we will go to a website. So, for example, we will visit my website, and I'm typing on an Apple keyboard connected via USB, but you can use the built-in keyboard on the laptop itself if you want to, which I usually do. So, it's loading my website now, and while it's loading, I'll just flip back over to Twitter, and you can see the tweets, and listen to music, and work on your schoolwork or whatever. And then, of course, it loads websites just like Chrome does on your normal PC. So that's how you use it. There are some settings, but I'm not going to go through that because that takes too long. And let me just try to close some tabs here. There we go. And so here we are back at the main screen. So I will just show you how fast it goes to sleep. It's already in sleep now. Like the instant that you close it, it's in sleep. And then just over a second after you open it, it comes back up and it's still connected. And it's so amazing to have that because if you have a PC, you know that going to sleep and coming out of sleep just takes way too long. So um, to sign out, you just hold down on the power button until it goes to here and you click on sign out and then signing in you already saw so let me just shut it off and we'll see how fast it takes so pressing the power button and it's off that fast it is amazingly fast so if you want to get one of these you can apply for one and I, I'll put the link in the description and eventually I'm sure they will stop accepting applications because a lot of people have been getting these and at that time I'll probably put up an annotation here saying that uh oh sorry they aren't accepting them anymore but by that time I'm sure there will be some Chrome notebooks out for sale so what do I like about this thing hardware wise well it is thin it's like less than an inch thick. Um, it has no moving parts. Uh, it's kind of light, kind of heavy, kind of light. It's in the middle. It has VGA. Whoops. Has VGA output. There is the uh, heat. Whatever. Heat whatever. Heat vent. And then here's another heat vent on the bottom. And then on this side, you have. SD card slot, uh, audio jack, USB, and power, 
and then you have a speaker here and a speaker on this side and then the battery is the largest part of it this is the battery it's very large so that is the Google CR48 whoops did not put the battery in right there we go so that's the Google CR48 if you want one of these just go to the application link in the video description and apply for one and you might get one so thanks for watching this video if you have any questions about the CR48 just feel feel free to comment on this video or email me at gavin at gavinrosscamp.com or you can ask me on twitter at gavinrosscamp check out my blog at blog.gavinrosscamp.com where I will be blogging about the funny story that happened with this and why I didn't make an unboxing so thanks for watching this video again and I'll see you next time